I was driving the other day with cash and I was thinking about how I would maybe try to get out of a speeding ticket. How would you do it? So like you're the cop. Okay. Hey. Oh, let me. I'm in my. Hi, sir. You know how fast you were going? Officer, close your eyes. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Serious. <laughs> Serious one. Check your car speedometer. <laughs> what the fuck? Shut up. Sorry. Yeah, shut up, bitch. We're doing a sketch. All right. <laughs> do you know how fast you're going, sir? Officer, just before we continue, just do me a favor. Mm-hmm. Just close your eyes. Uh, okay, so just, this is just, not really protocol. But... Just trust me. Just trust me. Just close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> All right, now ask it again. Do you know how fast you're going? I'm not sure. Ooh. Ooh. You sound like my favorite uh, Twitch streamer. Oh, yeah? His name's Noel Miller. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash tinyk. And if not, then enjoy this one. Holy fuck! Jamie! Can we get a clip of that deer hit get hit by that car? Let's live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, oh, gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my RC The so-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. I was just thinking, what if you, <laughs> you just try to get the whole ticket, just you really put it out there, like, <laughs> tell me how fast I was going. Like yeah. trying to do the TikTok yeah. guy, girl voice yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Drop it all the way to your stomach. <laughs> Are you going to take me away? <laughs> it's like, Why don't you put the ticket between my big jugs? <laughs> I have what? huge tits. Wait, you do? Massive oh, double Ds. I'm picturing them right now. Oh my god. Oh, it's huge milkies. I'm scared you're gonna see into my big milkies if you open your eyes. Oh, I won't I won't I won't open my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, foiled again. <laughs> uh, it just happens to him all the time. Yeah. This is Officer Fuck. Dingle Bob. <laughs> this is the horniest yeah, officer yeah. on <laughs> Oh wait. Dude, you're going like 90. Yes, yeah, this is Officer Dingle Bob's route. What does that mean? Watch this. Excuse me, sir. You know how fast you were going? I don't know how fast was I going. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Just trust me. Oh, would you like it faster? I would like it faster. I'd like you to slow do. down. I'd like you to go as fast as you can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> He's raiding a house. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Open up. It's Officer Dinkle Bob. <laughs> Oh no, if you come in, you're gonna see my big wet pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, this is squirt everywhere. He's really polite, too. Yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah, all of a sudden. I couldn't come in, that'd be rude. Oh, you wouldn't want to see this big puddle I have out of here in front of me. <laughs> hey, backup officers come up. What's going on? What's going there? on in there? Hey, don't go in there. She's squirting. <laughs> <laughs> She's squirting all over the place. It's good. It's rude if we enter right now. <laughs> oh, don't enter. You hear her in there. She's going crazy. <laughs> one of the other one of the other guys is like, Bob, let me just let me let me No! No, no! You're hurting her! <laughs> don't interrupt! <laughs> don't interrupt me while I squirt. Dude's just saying this as he's cutting up coke. <laughs> oh my god, Officer Tingle yeah. Bob! Don't come in here. Pass me that bag. Pass me that bag. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He'll leave in like a second. It's cool. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm we gonna, have to leave. I'm we have gonna, to leave. Oh my god, it's about to happen. Every, all it's, units please, out. All please units get leave. out of here. All units leave. Oh, I don't want to hear. You. I want you to hear me squirt. <sighs> what an idiot. <laughs> 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 
He goes home to his place. He doesn't have like a lady, he just has a roommate. Yeah. How was it, man? Let me tell you. Hard day <laughs> on the job. I, oh. lo I love this job so much. Oh. When I tell you, I was bricked up. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew there were so many squirters yeah. in this town? <laughs> Who knew stopping crime could be so wet? <laughs> All right. That's got to be a comic. Yeah. We got to get Jim to yeah, yeah. draw that one up for real. <laughs> yeah. Officer Dinklevoss. Oh, so good. <laughs> Running around town with a huge boner. This is just full <laughs> throttle the whole time. <laughs> My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Horrifying, man. <laughs> I just want to keep going on it. Yeah, I know. Me too. I was like, I keep looking for somewhere where the intro would start. He, he, he rides, no, I mean, this is, the, this is it. We're in it now. <clears throat> he rides a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little Sibian nub on his butthole. Just the whole. What, what would his partner be? Would his partner be? Um, no, he's partnerless, dude. Oh, he rides alone. Yeah, he's solo. He rides solo. Yeah, Dinkle Bob cannot. Yeah, yeah. he's just unworkable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've tried to give him partners before. It just doesn't work yeah, out. Yeah, they complain about his boner. <laughs> <laughs> they just complain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they got his. He's just yeah. <laughs> putting on his gear in the morning. Yeah, I used to be partners with Gomez. You had an issue with my boner. <laughs> so I'm solo again. <laughs> no one can seem to handle the dink. Honestly, I prefer it that way. <laughs> I, I ride alone. Easier to handle cases. Easier to handle cases. Why do I picture John Cena playing this character? <laughs> <laughs> I'm also fluent Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> John Cena as Officer Dinkle Bob, <laughs> absurdly horny. <laughs> Stop right there, gentlemen. She is squirting inside there. <laughs> and if that's illegal, then take me away. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? His just pants are covered in, <laughs> in fucking. It's a puddle right above love, his thighs. I love this job. <laughs> Starts, he just pees himself. <laughs> He's like a small dog, just ex get out of excitement, just pees no, himself. No, no, that's his partner. Okay. His partner is so nervous and scared that he pees, that he himself. pees himself. Okay. And actually turns Dingle Bob on because. <laughs> you know, he likes the flu. Yeah. <laughs> They're just rolling. All right, this one's going to be crazy. <laughs> it's a full on gang in there. This is 30 members strapped up to the gills. These guys have guns. <laughs> oh, Dink, I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> Wait, oh. did you say guns? Oh. That's me. That's me last bonus episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did you say guns? Did you say guns? What's a, what's his partner's name? Um, how about like um Dinkle Dinkle Bob and Winkle Voss? No, no, I, I feel like it's got to be like a like, single syllable. Okay. Dinkle Bob and Okay. Like Toto. <laughs> Puddle. Yeah, Dinkle Bob and Puddle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Puddle, you're doing that thing again. <laughs> We're never going to make it. My wood. It's interrupting the steering. <laughs> trying to get to his gun, but he can't because yeah, his yeah. boner's in the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... Yeah. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> can't get my gun. My dick is in the way. No, I'm gonna puddle myself. <laughs> Don't do that. It's ripping through. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, I peed myself again. <laughs> all, all his oh. villain, all his villains are just oh. male squirters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a fucking guy in a mask in his underwear. <laughs> Dinkle Bob, <laughs> you'll never get me. Listen here, masked bandit. Don't you leave. Or or what? You're going to shoot me? How are you going to shoot me if I wet myself? <laughs> Don't you do that. 
Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Quick. Oh! <laughs> More of his henchmen. Come on. Quick. Wet yourselves, men. <laughs> Our line of guys. <laughs> or is it women? Probably oh. women. Yeah, women. Yeah. And uh, But they have the same voice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Detective Winklevoss, you'll <laughs> never get us. <laughs> Quick, ladies, <laughs> let him have it. <laughs> I wish I could play the squirt I wish space. I could play the squirt space I think video you played right off now. your phone. Okay. <laughs> he didn't even play. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on. You're, dude, oh, yeah. you're Winkle. You're uh, Dinkle I'm Bob. him. I'm Dinkle Bob. <laughs> Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that's Bud Light Seltzer. Bud Light Seltzer has launched a limited edition retro summer tie-dye variety pack. That's right, baby. After a year of being distant, apart, and feeling gray, summer 2021 is about to get wet. (laughs) And now is the chance to make up for lost time. This summer, bring good vibes wherever you go with Bud Light Seltzer's new tie-dye pack. Each variety pack features three iconic summer flavors. We got cherry limeade, blue Mm. raspberry, summer ice. These flavors take inspiration from nostalgic summer favorites. And surprise, these three delicious flavors will also come in a frozen form uh, as an ice pop. What what is that from? What 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 does that one taste like? Let me see what this one tastes like for me. Cherry limeade. Let me see how this this tastes like. Honestly, like I'm at a like a county fair or something, and I'm drinking like a really good like like drink from there. Oh my god, dude! This, like, this tastes like before I'm gonna spend two hundred dollars at the bar. This is like <laughs> the drink I would enjoy at home and be like, I'm good right now, <laughs> and I should stay here. <laughs> That's what this tastes like. Yeah, damn, no. that's actually pretty fire. Um, you know what's even crazier? What? This thing comes with a shirt. Oh yeah, well, that's I guess it. that's why it's called the Summer Tie Dye Variety Pack. <laughs> Look, guys. Uh, both are only available for a limited time uh, this summer, so hurry. You can get them delivered right to your door by going to BudLight.com slash delivery or pick it up at your local neighborhood grocery, convenience store, uh, or liquor store. Good vibes. Does your microphone just start slowly getting higher? <laughs> <laughs> now look. <laughs> Freeze! Bob, I don't think she's going to freeze. <laughs> it's like, just like 30, 30 of them at the same time. Oh, is that like a clubhouse? It's a clubhouse. It's a Twitter clubhouse called Squirt Space where they all, like, you know how Twitter has spaces or whatever? So they made one. <laughs> they made one and it's just like 20 girls squirting at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <that's, laughs> that fucking sound like it's just like like <laughs> m- like mashing macaroni. Like it's just like. <laughs> Wait, am I am I a speaker? <laughs> Hi, Connor. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to say, hey, ladies, you guys are doing an awesome job. Uh, really appreciate the dialogue earlier. Um, but yeah, you got a lot of fans out there. Uh, all over, and uh, yeah, just, just want to say hey. This is wink. This is this is <laughs> Dinkle Bob. Oh, that was so nice. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. Let's get back. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> How do you say that? Just sitting there on a wet blanket. <laughs> Your fucking headphones, especially the guy like right after he just heard that. He's complete dis- Am I a speaker? Oh wait, am I a speaker? <laughs> hey, hey, girls, just want to say you got a lot of huge fans out there <laughs> and small fans <laughs> and small <laughs> tiny b dick fans. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're gonna get demonetized for sure, bro. That sounds it's like just a- so funny. Oh God, the man! What squirt a, podcast? That's that's what that is, bro. That's it's a sound, squirting podcast. No, that sounds like a, <clears throat> a bunch of eighth graders in the back of a history class being like, 
Or just putting like <laughs> spit on their hands and doing that. <laughs> spit what? <clears throat> you ever do that to I'm... simulate jerking off sound? No. No. Yeah, neither. I'm kidding. Neither. <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> that fucking noise is so ridiculous. <laughs> Ow. That's all it is. It's like no one's actually squirting. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just, just grown t- adults. Just <laughs> <laughs> and dudes, oh my God, that's so much funnier for that guy that oh, yeah, came just, up. Uh, am I a lady, speaker? <laughs> ladies, I just want to say huge, huge fan. Love what you guys are doing. It's just a bunch of dudes. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Using Thank voice Thank you changer. so much. <laughs> Oh Means my the god, world. that's What's so your name? nice. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. Room full of dudes, and they mute the microphone. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Wait, um, <clears throat> your cheeks hurt? Yeah, my cheek hurts when doing that now. <laughs> Squirting is so crazy, <laughs> dude. Totally. I mean, it just nah. it just seems like something that. Humans weren't supposed to figure out. Mm. <clears throat> you yeah. know? Like well, I, it's just pee, though. Yeah, but I, I, I feel like... Is it... <laughs> yeah. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, you can definitely <laughs> drink it. <laughs> Wait, dude, you've been drinking it? It's not pee. It's definitely pee. What it's else not would it be? pee. What else would it be? It's squirt juice, dude. <laughs> You can drink it. <laughs> it's a different fluid. It's from a different thing. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Like, I picture Jesus or someone watching all this being like, that's, uh, you can't, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. That's not, yeah. Uh, I should have moved that. That was never the intention. <sighs> just humans are down here being like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> <sighs> or do you think there were squirters like way back? Like medieval squirters. Yeah, yeah. They've been doing it forever. Like like since dinosaurs, you think? Yeah, well. Like since like. I don't think um, humans were around when dinosaurs were around. Oh, yeah. Fair, yeah. I guess. So I don't know. But, but maybe dinosaurs That's what squirted. I'm saying, yeah. Raptor squirter. Yeah, that's pterodactyl weird. squirt. That's gross because they got like carapace, man. They're yeah. like hard. You know, I was thinking the other day, I was thinking like T-Rex, you know. People say T Rex yeah. arms. Yeah. I have a T Rex dick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. It just it's a little, way too small for my body. J- just, just a little flange. Yeah. Common off. Small. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. So <laughs> appendix sized dick. Mm-hmm. No one knows what it does. <laughs> it's just something that hangs off your body. <clears throat> Bro. Uh, no. Now, see. Now, I'm, now I'm thinking. You seen that TikTok where it's like, oh, humans have been the way we've been for the last two thousand or two hundred thousand years or whatever with only like 5% of our existence is recorded history. Okay. Does that mean there's a squirter like way back then? Yeah. Like you think when they were like figuring out fire and stuff, like like the guy who made fire was like, huh, huh. and then finally, and then some girl squirted Yeah, she, yeah, it. She, she put it out. She <laughs> squirted it. Oh! <laughs> yeah. oh! Everyone's like, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, and then everyone's like, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the guy who made it's all like, "Come on!" Huh? Everyone's like, "Shut up!" up. Shut up. Uh, uh. And then they're like, like you know, they're like finding their currency, like little wood chips. And yeah, rocks. yeah, little pieces, little of berries, uh, Kindle little berries. or whatever. Kindle? They're, no, they're berries. just throwing berries at berries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she. <laughs> 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 the guy's like, guy's just sitting there freezing. Come on, man. What's up? You couldn't have made the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the rest of the group wakes up every morning. Gotta find berries. <laughs> My berries. <laughs> 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 yeah, that image of this dude making fire. It's like, huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just caveman rage yeah yeah that's i think that's actually was was drawn in hieroglyphics yeah or not hieroglyphics but you know cave, caveman drawings caveman yeah. drawings on the side I yeah think that's it's like fire caribou squirt and then just squirt yeah and then just a really angry dude yeah 
and we've been <laughs> we've been interpreting it as like a, a storm or something yeah. for the last hundred years. Yeah, you know? <laughs> like a squirter in like the Ming Dynasty. <laughs> All right. Um, here's something I want to go over with you, like right away. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're right. So I guess uh, yeah, I just think this is so. I feel like funny. I'm in trouble. Yeah, we need to talk, dude. We need to talk about something right away on air. We got to talk. Okay. <clears throat> this is this is so funny. So, okay. So Paige, she's an Paige Paige Halsey. She's an anchor slash reporter at KMOV in in uh, St. Louis, right? Okay. <clears throat> they, I guess they staged this <laughs> this like teens room. To show parents oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. where a teen could be hiding drugs. Yeah. And so her tweet says, <clears throat> looks like a normal teen's bedroom, right? Think again. Coming up on Cam OV, we'll show you what parents should be looking for so they can identify signs of drug use. Yeah. I was shocked at what I found in this room. And then so she posted me. Can you pull it up? Can you pull up? Could you pull up real fast? <clears throat> so this is the room right here, right? Classic teen's bedroom. Huh? Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if you look closer, <clears throat> yeah, that mile 420 th sign, I have that in my <laughs> <This> is, room. <laughs> someone someone zoomed in and said, bro, is that a three hole punch on the bed? <laughs> Dog. And it is. She that put is a so three hole funny. punch on the to simulate a teen's bedroom right now. What teenager is using paper? Even knows that paper exists. Yeah. None. No, this this bedroom should be. They kind of got that right with like a drape on the wall. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but the, the tie dye. No, the the maybe not the tie dye. It it should be something you know more, uh, you know, trippy. Yeah, or <clears throat> K poppy or something. Something you know. What it should be is an unmade bed, clothes all over the floor, uh, twenty dollar <laughs> carts littered all over it. Yeah, and then um, possibly one of their friends passed out on Xanax in the bed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then the other teen like with her. Like feet in the air, or his, yeah, on their stomach watching TikTok, yeah, or streaming or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it needs to be a little bit more euphoria, you know, bro. This is a little bit too. I, this is like college freshman at BM or BYU. Or yeah, something. in 1998. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. Uh, <laughs> I, I saw one of the replies to this was, uh, you know, like criticizing the room, like whatever, and then. That reporter responded and was like, I was surprised to find that teens will use tampon containers to hide <laughs> marijuana. I'm like, dude, you definitely <clears throat> did not know anyone that smoked weed in high school. Yeah. People use all kinds of shit to hide weed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People putting it in a bag in an orange peel. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Or a shampoo bottle. I think all I've this. Done that before. Submerged in shampoo. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that the smell doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. I think the funniest thing about this whole report is that all that happened here is this reporter and everyone involved just told everyone that they were never cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people are smoking weed before the age of 30. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people hide weed in places. <laughs> yeah. Wait, go to the video. <clears throat> Play the Facebook video. Because I think she shows you that, like, it's also like kids were hiding pills in their stapler. <laughs> yeah. Like, nobody has a fucking stapler, you, you know, idiot. You know who else hides pills? You know where else they hide pills? Like, in their face. Yeah. Yeah. They, they eat them. Yeah. They put them in their face and they're hidden in their bodies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't see it? Whatever. <clears throat> Gee, what's that sound? Mm. Why don't you tell them? Oh, it's the sound of ice cold mountain water, baby. Yeah. Oh, liquid death. The sponsor of today's episode, you may start noticing that there are strange tall boys of beer in the bottled water section mm -hmm. of your local stores. What the heck are those doing there? Yep. Well, guess what? It's not beer, mm -hmm. actually. It's mountain spring water from the Alps, and it's called liquid death. Why is the water called liquid death? Well, because it will brutally murder your thirst, and their infinitely recyclable tall boy cans are helping to bring death to plastic bottles. They also donate 10% of their profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. Uh, plastic, if you didn't know, isn't actually recyclable, and most plastic you throw in a recycling bin just gets sent to a landfill because it's not profitable to recycle. Aluminum, though, is in infinitely recyclable and actually profitable for recycling companies. 
Uh, and I mean, it's just, I love drinking water out of a can, to be honest. There's something way more refreshing about it. I know that sounds stupid, but I absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, I feel a little bit weird drinking this while I'm driving, though. Yeah. Because I think other people think I'm drinking beer. Yeah. And that's a little bit awkward, but I think that's just a testament to how insanely sick their branding is. I've actually, uh, you know, I've killed an entire box while carting at the track, and I think it's really funny to stand over your cart and skull half a can and just do this yeah roar it in your mouth and then yeah. every every dude who's already in their cart is rolling up to you and they're looking at you through their helmet like <laughs> is is that is he gonna i'm sorry and you're like <laughs> is any is anyone gonna stop this guy and i'm just in my car like <laughs> <laughs> i'm drunk and i'm still better than you <laughs> <laughs> but actually you're not Impossible drunk you're just getting insanely hydrated yeah so i Ice cold mountain water. So that's, I know you're you're actually murdering your thirst is what you're doing. Yeah, and they get really frustrated because when I lap them like crazy, they get mm -hmm. out the cart and they yank their helmets off. They're like, "You were drunk out there, man." It's like, no, I wasn't. I was hydrated. Exactly. So you know, uh, if you want to get hydrated, you can go to liquiddeath.com/tmg. Get a free set of koozies with your first order of any case of water, or just grab some at any Whole Foods or Seven Eleven. Liquid Death, murder your thirst. It's not like. Uh, yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> Maybe dabble in the bonus if if need be. That is the best place. I think the best place to hide drugs, honestly, in your three hole punch or your stapler. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should definitely keep it in your pencil box. Yeah. Yes. With for all sure. of your milky pens. Yep. Or in your pencil sharpener. Yeah. Remember oh, those? Yeah. Remember those shits screwed to the wall yeah. in your elementary school class? You had to walk up, go yeah. up to the side of the wall, and or the yeah the automatic ones. Remember that? Yeah. That you know, the time. You know how many times I'd hit that in a class? Yeah. I the teachers. <laughs> Cody, Cody, <laughs> Cody. Yeah, what's Let, up? Let's have let's sit down. It's sharp now. <laughs> and it's like this big. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, now it's teacher, good. I broke my pencil. <laughs> I need another pencil. I would hit that slow <laughs> grind with it with, by hand, just try to kill time. That was the best part. Get a test. And, I don't know any of these fucking answers. Yeah. Noel <laughs> <coughs> 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 hurried up. <laughs> so, who minted the first penny? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, well. <clears throat> yeah. We should get a pencil sharpener in here. Yeah. Just. To remind people we come from the era where you wrote things with wood. Yeah. <laughs> 90s kids, baby. 90s, Always, 90s kids. Never forget like, it. Just a little pencil sharpener. Just, yeah. Just screwed in right there. That'd be kind of hard, actually. I don't even know where you'd find one of those things. Probably like, we probably need. Right? A, Who would sell we'd a, probably man, need a, no, a manual pencil sharpener? We probably need a time machine. A turner. Oh, what are you? Oh, oh we got a pencil expert. We got a pencil here. expert over here. Jesus, you we really are drinking. He's, yeah, drinking. he's, he's, he's drinking, drinking on the job. We probably need a time like machine that. to go get all this old ass shit you're talking about because you're so fucking old, dude. I'm oh, 16. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Seven dollars. Wow, we should have three hole punch too. You could hide your weed in there. <laughs> yeah, that's literally an kids are sandwich, hiding damn. pills. You got your weed in there, <clears throat> bro. Hold on. Uh-oh. Damn it. I want I really want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. BRB. This video is so funny. It's her just going around the stage room talking about where kids could possibly hide drugs. Luke, maybe just make a burner Facebook on the side so we can hit this at the end of the episode. Yeah, it's fine. It's not I don't think it's that funny, but speaking of um, getting your <clears throat> little tiny pencil sharpened down to the base. Ooh, okay. I'll talk about that all day. What's up? Oh, man. I feel bad for Bryce Hall, man. Why? G genuinely. Why? This is not like this is not sarcasm. I like. I actually feel bad for him and everyone that participated in that. Car. Oh yeah. Okay. Wait. Can I pee right before we talk about this? Because I really want to get into this. I want to learn about all the puddle. <laughs> wait. No. I'm really scared to talk about this puddle. I'm really scared. I don't want. We're get on the way. I don't want to get beaten up. I don't want to get beaten up. I have some They're robbing the bank right now. Oh my God. I'm peeing. I'm peeing. 
I'm sorry. The wheel. <laughs> it's getting away from me. <laughs> we have to stop. Oh, I'm peeing. Wait, Dingle Bob. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> it's a gun. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to pee real fast. Yeah. Like in the toilet, not yeah. on my pants. And then... We're going to get into this. You're going to get on Squarespace real quick on Squarespace. Clubhouse? Squarespace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're back. I said take a quick pee. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. My God. Imagine oh, some. Yeah. Imagine some. You make your avatar some, like, picture of a girl in a bikini or whatever. You get promoted as speaker, and then it's just a uh, you peeing yep. into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys, I'm squirting right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, my name's Cindy, and I'm going to squirt. <laughs> Wait, am I speaker right now? Sick. All right, cool. I'm about to squirt. <laughs> Hope you like it. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to squirt. <laughs> squirt it out of my other hole. <laughs> All right, take your piss. Okay, sorry. I'm... <laughs> take your fucking pee, man. Okay, so what's the deal? And sorry. Back. I'm pin- I'm pinsed. So, all right, this, so I watched two videos, one by uh, the Wade Concept, one by Roundhouse Radio, and they both cover off in the same situation, which is, so Social Gloves, the name, or the the name, the company, (laughs) the CEO, the named CEO is Austin McBroom. Okay. And so, that's why a lot of his family members, I think, were on the card, because whatever that's okay so how did he start this company in order to do this tiktok versus youtubers fight i think so so he saw the paul brothers what they were doing and he was like i want to cash on this too yeah so he started that's what it seems or somebody came to him and said hey we got this company we want to do this in collaboration with you we'll make you a co-founder one way or the other okay all right so you know the motive there whatever the fact is he is named as the ceo of the company so um he uh whatever the wade concept dug up this clip of michael gruen and bryce talking to each other saw that on the yeah so for those who don't know basically uh michael uh bryce confronts michael gruen because he's a hothead or whatever and he's like i heard you were talking shit and then he's like you said i can't move tickets and michael gruen says it's not all what i said what i said was they're asking you to sell 400,000 tickets. He's like, I think that's ambitious for anyone. At 50 bucks. At 50 a bucks ticket, a by ticket. The way. Yeah. 50 bucks the pay per view price. And so Bryce. Which is a totally reasonable thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know why you would be I don't, I'm so offended by that. It's like, it's, that's a huge ask of any celebrity at any level. Listen, as much as Bryce is a dickhead, I'm going to excuse the fact that, like, you can be young. You can, it's you're allowed to be young and have an ego and be offended by something that you may not fully understand. It was also in the context of the sway reality show. The so, point of it is to yeah. drum up drama, and they were trying to make it like the hills or whatever. So it's like you have to have conflict, right? So he, that part probably part of it was that too, right? So you know, but how Ryan, the dude who uh, who has the channel Roundhouse Radio he put it pretty well. He said it seems like the way it was worked out was these people would hit these big numbers in their offers if the pay-per-view buys exceeded a certain amount. Oh, because I see. Josh Richards blew it up that no one's been paid. Yeah. No artist, no boxer, no nothing. And the reported pay-per-view buys is somewhere <clears throat> just north of 100K, uh, 100K pay-per-view buys. And the anticipated target was like 1.7 1. 1. million. 1. 1.7 million pay-per-view buys which would have netted out like close to 100 million bucks right mm-hmm. and a hundred thousand puts yeah. them at half a million bucks yeah or five million dollars sorry uh a hundred thousand i think uh, is 136 is the rough number yeah five I think million. is it five that was closer to 10 just do the math real quick because we can't do math 100 and what Thirty thousand. Hundred thirty six thousand by 50 136 6.8 million bucks yeah so it's, it's closer to 10 but and Bryce's agreement supposed, alone was five million bucks supposedly. to step in the ring. Yeah. So, and, here, and 
that's I mean, like you got to think the Migos performed, mm -hmm. little baby performed, big ass artist. Yeah. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that's Hymns. Mm. Uh, you've heard us talking about Hymns and how they are helping guys look their best. And if you haven't yet, it's time to see what they're all about. Here's the problem. 66% of men start to lose their hair by age 35. Once you've noticed thinning hair, it can be too late. The best way to prevent more hair loss is to do something about it while you still have some. Uh, why do guys turn to weird solutions or do nothing when they can turn to medicine and science? Solution! Forhims.com, a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness, all for men. It's time to write a new chapter, one in which you actually have hair. Look, thanks to science, baldness can be optional. Hims is helping guys be the best version of themselves with licensed medical providers and FDA-approved products to help treat hair loss. No snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. These are prescription solutions backed with science. Hims was created by a guy who knows some men's health conversations are easier online than in person. No more awkward in-person doctor's visits or long pharmacy lines. 4 Hims connects you to licensed medical professionals online, which could save you hours, completely confidential and discreet. Answer a few quick questions. A medical professional will review, and if they determine it's right for you, they can prescribe you medication to treat hair loss that is shipped directly to your door. Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet. If you're not happy with your results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund. And right now, our listeners can get their first visit absolutely free. Just go to 4 slash TMG. That's 4 slash TMG. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important uh, safety information. Remember, that's 4 slash TMG. So what's what's wild is all that, right? And the speculation or something that has been heard is, I think maybe Josh said this. I, I don't want to say that because I could be wrong about that. So don't put this quote, uh, like attach it to him. But basically there's a <clears throat> rumor that bankruptcy was written into the contracts. So if Social Gloves filed for bankruptcy, they wouldn't have to pay anyone. Okay, okay. So. so the whole thing just seems like a stick and move by Austin, which is crazy. I, I, This is where I actually feel bad for Bryce. Like, yeah, he's a dick, whatever, but it sucks to be young. You, you can't expect like a 19-year-old to really understand how to navigate like entertainment. That's not reasonable. Some people can, some people can't. He signs his contract. So now he gets his ass beat, gets memed to all high heaven. You know, the whole Addison thing. Yeah. And now this fool is potentially not going to make a dollar off of all that. Jeez. I mean, he never claimed to get paid. <laughs> what do you mean? He never claimed to He never to claimed want to, to want to get paid. Yeah. He didn't want to get paid. He never claimed to want to get paid. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what if he just came onto his Twitter? He's like, I actually never wanted to get it's paid. It's cool, I man. I just wanted to do charity. I, yeah. I, wanted, I didn't want the $5 million to yeah, begin with. The triple down. Um, I know that that sucks. A I great mean, a great observation too by the Roundhouse Radio guy was like the way Deji was talking about it. He was saying stuff like, I'm not doing this for the money. So if he's saying like I'm not doing it for the money, but Bryce is over here saying like I'm getting five million and all this and that, he's like, Deji's like a bit more experienced. Like he clearly has like a team that works around what he does. So if that's his, you know, he's putting out to the world, like, yeah, I'm probably only gonna get paid like 20K from this, but that's not what I'm doing it for. Yeah. So, you know, it just when you like look back at it, you're like, oh, this whole thing was a was a scam. It was a scam, bro. Yeah. That is crazy. There's bankruptcy written into the contract. <clears throat> I mean, what did so Austin McBroom posted on his story, right? He yeah, said he something was like what did he say? That Can numbers that cap. Uh, you know, the haters just want to believe it. Like, well, what was it then? Say what it was. Exactly. I don't understand. Why is it so hush hush? Like, didn't Logan Paul or Jake Paul come up the next day? Yeah. Literally the next morning and was yeah. like, hey, 1.3 million pay-per-view vibes. Yep. yep. Like, if it's bigger than what it is, then say yep. what it is. Yep. Why is it hush-hush? I just, Like, man, if everyone's contracts already have their fee written in, then why does it fucking, why does it matter? That is just so wild. Because some of those kids put themselves through punishment. You know, some of those kids well, were not boxers. That kid, Michael Lee, that's fucked up, man. Yeah. Yeah, he takes a contract. He's he's not a fighter. He's not an athlete. And like, now he has brain damage. <laughs> yeah, now no, now he took real damage. Yeah, that that punch is gonna affect him in some way. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, this is what it says. 100,000 pay-per-view buys is cap. Only the haters want to believe that. If anything, these people who are scamming... If anything, these people who are scamming, which with which isn't social gloves, are basically saying all of us fighters fan bases ain't shit. Horrible explanation. What? We all know social gloves put on one of the biggest social media events in history, as all of you watch. The real numbers will come out soon. Just know social gloves weren't the ones who collected pay-per-view numbers slash purchases. Don't forget how you watched it. Uh, so he's like putting the blame on another company basically yeah. and so if it isn't actually that high he's gonna be like well they are scamming you yeah hmm. yeah Which, yeah i don't bro. know this whole thing's so messy i mean i how, how could anyone think that this could go off without a hitch in the first place like, people who don't get how could, piracy or how the would, internet yeah yeah how could anyone listen to bryce hall saying he's gonna get paid five million bucks for this and be like yeah he deserves that <laughs> I mean, I think that's the right number. It makes sense in my head economically when, that that would five million bucks for one person just step in the ring. Yeah. When I heard him say that number, I thought, oh, this has to be some out of touch, you know, group of investors that don't really get social media and they have money and they're going to burn a pile of cash thinking that they'll be able to make a percentage on it. That was my impression. I'm like, oh, yeah, all these big artists and stuff are going to be there. So clearly, someone, it's, you know, Clearly, someone with a shit ton of money who just wants to be in this space is, is just gonna dump it. Yeah, I'm like, this is this is a dumb idea, but whatever. But it's crazy that no one even, no one ever at any point was like, who who is Social Globe? <laughs> yeah. And they just did a simple search. They'd be like, wait, what the fuck? The headline, the headlining fighter is the CEO. <laughs> no one's bugged out by this. Like there are there are only a few people who do shit like that. It's like Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. You know, one of the greatest. Yeah. Uh, Connor, Oscar De La Hoya, like people who have like history in the fight game. Yeah. You don't see anyone on their first fight, you know, like whatever. I mean, I'm surprised more people didn't, weren't just tipped off at how shady this whole thing is by the fucking name of the company. We yeah. said this yeah. before. How did yeah. no one else be like, how, how was no one else like social gloves? Yeah. That's the name of the company, social gloves. Yeah, it's it screams shell company. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's because it's not like someone's name. It's not like social media. Oh, fighting. boxing. <laughs> how can we? How can we put the gloves or social like man. ring? No, 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 that doesn't right. It doesn't roll off the tongue, does it? Comment fighting. Comment no. fighting. No, no. Tag yourself. Don't get tagged. No, no, no. don't get tagged. No, um, the gloves are social. Gloves are. Social gloves. Social gloves. <laughs> Social gloves sounds like one of Elon's like shell companies that he funnels his Dogecoin through. Yeah. It that I mean, it blew my mind watching this just because I'm like, oh, this dude knew from the outset. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna tell all these people like that's like intention, bro. I, I don't think so. You I don't, don't think, think he's so. that smart? No, I th I think that's giving him too a much little credit? bit too much credit that's because fair. I and I think that's also that would kind of go against how little self awareness I think he has in terms of like his stardom. Yeah, he th like when I watched his interview on BFFs, so I was like, he he still thinks he's like the shit. Yeah, like listen, like the Ace Family, they were yes, they were huge for like a year or two, right? And it's because like people loved watching their family. Yeah, like women, like you know, I'm I, I'm, I'm guessing their their uh, audience is a lot of like children and yeah. other family people yeah. right and now it's like he's just another you you know you know what i'm saying yeah no his I, influence isn't like that he's not like drake i think he thinks he's like the drake of youtube yeah and i like he sat he looked he looked uh dave porter in the face he's like i think you yeah, have 1.1.7 million and i believed him i was like you really thinks he's gonna get that yeah i think what so it's that right like he thinks he's bigger than he is but you know what it was He's probably like a dude who spits shit out and he makes money. So the people around him go, yeah, that's probably possible. You know, like, oh, we could figure that out. And so he's like, oh, if Jake Paul can do this many buys, we can definitely do this many buys. You know, like that's probably what he put together off that Triller event. Yeah. So he probably ropes that up. And then his lawyer goes, so have you thought about if this doesn't work? Yeah. 
And then he's like, why don't we structure it like, you know, like a, a business person yeah. goes, why don't we yeah. structure it like this? Yeah. And then if this happens, and then he goes into it super confident because he's like, even if this thing fucking fails, who cares? Yeah. Like, I'm going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just, I don't know. I watched his video like leading up to it mm -hmm. when he was like going to Miami. And like, it was like the, you know, the video that he posted on the Ace Family account, like before the, before the fight to promo it. And he's like mm -hmm. on a private jet for like the third time. Yeah. Like, going to my, and I'm like, I just, even if I was worth 10 million bucks, like private jets are 50K a pop. Yeah, they're not cheap. Like anyone doing that shit, like you have to have guarantee, a guarantee mm -hmm. that you're gonna be making millions of dollars every year for the next like 10 years. Yep. For that to economically make any sense. Because if it doesn't, then you should invest that money. I, you know, and, I'm like, not gonna name names, but there are only a few people that we know that see take, that we see taking jets that regular. I'm thinking of uh, one person who put his name on a jet. That guy, yeah, <laughs> you know his bankroll, and that's the guy. That's a guy we've seen to use private jets for a long time. Yeah. So when I see YouTubers and stuff doing it, I'm like, there's, there's just, there's only. I one mean, yeah. Listen, I like, I know, like, Tana made three million dollars in one month or something on OnlyFans. It's like, then, sure, <laughs> if you're making that much money, yeah, go for it. That's like, I mean, thirty million bucks a year. Like, if you keep that up, you know. Yeah, if you can, yeah. Okay, then fifty k, whatever. Yep. But like for anyone else, like. For anyone like Austin who doesn't have an OnlyFans, you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's selling baby clothes. I, I yeah, I don't know. It's just private jets fucking freak me out, honestly. Like the the rate at which people take them, I'm like, who yeah. is paying for this? Because no matter what, if it's a company, even then it doesn't make sense. Unless you're making unless you're raking in millions a year, mm -hmm. expensing a jet does not make sense. Yeah. Yeah. The only people who like can piss away that are like Formula One teams, mm -hmm. <laughs> oil billionaires, yeah, and then uh, and Grant Cardone, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's like that's literally it. But you know, that's that's besides the point. I think it's just no, it's not besides the point. I think it screams that the whole thing just felt more like a play. Like this dude goes, ah, I'm gonna fight Bryce, and I'm gonna put all this attention on me, and this and that. I genuinely think he just watched the Jake Paul fight and goes, I want that for myself. Yep. Yep. He did everything in his power to try to achieve that. Yep. And he doesn't understand that, you know, only people who consume YouTube hate him. Yeah. <laughs> and the world hates Jake Paul. Yeah. That's a much, you know. Yeah. To do 1.7 million pay-per-view buys means like 20 million people were probably tuned in to be like, I want to see this kid get his fucking face pushed. Yeah. You're not that, bro. Yeah. You're not that guy, pal. 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 <laughs> You're not that guy. You can hate Jake Paul all you want. That fool is massive. Yeah. Him, I mean, him and his brother. I mean, watch it all be cap, dude. Watch it all be cap, honestly. You know? <laughs> I would be, it would be so funny if Austin came out and was like, yeah, we did get 1.7. Bryce got paid. Vinny Hacker got paid. They're all just balling. And he just bought, bought a second home. <laughs> and he just bought a second home. I bought he's another private, $10 he's like, million. Dollar he's like, home. I just took a private jet just for the fuck of it. <laughs> just because I watched your episode and I decided I'll just take off and just circle LA for a while. <laughs> just as a fuck you. I took a private plane. I flew to Mallorca and I said, take me back home. <laughs> and I had a Uber black yeah, drive me. Yeah. I had a driver bring me right here. <laughs> so I could throw $100,000 at both of you and call you both broke. <laughs> You know, honestly, bless them. You yeah, know, bless I actually kind of hope that happens. I kind of hope that happens. Bless, bless it. Because yeah. it would just <laughs> give us more to talk about, I guess, and, and it would make us work harder, maybe. You know? Yeah. Who knows? That's a, that's what it is. Yeah, we'll yeah. work harder. Yeah, yeah. We do this all in spite of. <laughs> we do this all out of jealousy, actually, <laughs> of people taking PJs. We yeah, we work so hard n to never take a PJ. Just to be mad at people that take PJs. Yeah. That's literally yeah. it. Yeah. So, yeah. I just, yeah, I don't know. Private jets, man. It's um 50K a pop, at least. And that's to go to, like, Vegas. Yeah. You know? I, th I think it's something, like, I think the number is, I think it's, like, 20K per, it's, like, it's some, it's, like, 20, 30K per, like, a certain amount of miles, because... I remember we asked that flight attendant, like, oh, if you took this plane to, like, London. Yeah. And I think she, like, she, she was like, I can't give you the price. But she gave us, like, a measurement. I think I remember we calculated it. It would be, like, almost 200 grand or more to, to fly to, to, to London. Go across the ocean? On, on a PJ, yeah. Oh, my God. It's like, holy fuck. <laughs> Wild. 
All right, we're going to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Credit Karma. Listen, if dreams of vacations and enjoying the fun of life are turning back into a reality for you, don't let concerns over financial setbacks keep you from saying yes. Credit Karma helps you keep your financial goals in check so you, so you won't have to hit pause on a good time ahead. Starting something new can be nerve-wracking. Wouldn't you like to know beforehand whether it was going to work out or not? Credit Karma can give you more confidence before you make a decision. The beginning of any journey can feel daunting. Uh, you're not sure what you're heading towards or in, if you're in the right direction or maybe you don't know exactly <laughs> what to prepare for. With Credit Karma, you can be more informed about what's ahead. Their game-changing technology shows you tailored offers for credit cards and personal loans that you're more likely to be approved for so you can apply with more confidence. They use your credit and other financial information to show you custom recommendations. Whether you want cash back, travel rewards, or to consolidate debt, Credit Karma can help you find the offers that fit your goals. With a selection of options and approval odds, you have the power to make informed decisions. Credit Karma, apply with confidence. Yeah, go to creditkarma.com slash podcast to learn more and find <laughs> offers tailored just for you. That's creditkarma.com slash podcast where you can see offers on the Credit Karma app. Apply with confidence today. Go to creditkarma.com slash podcast or, or the Credit Karma app. Search, search Grant Cardone private jet, Luke. We're going to look at his private jet. I just saw this CoffeeZilla posted a funny video about, and he just had some clips from this video, and it's pretty absurd. Absurd. Not this one. Go to the delivery video. Taking delivery of, oh, right there. Taking delivery. And then fast forward to like, like when he's inside. Now keep going. I should have did one of these for my go-kart. Turn, turn the volume on. Yeah. Taking delivery of my Hi, used hey. professional go-kart. <laughs> Go a little bit more forward. Wow. Where he starts talking. Look at all this cool stuff. Uh, never mind. I just landed in Opelaka in Miami. I've actually been Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind. Stacy, he talks about the he taught he bought that plane. It was yeah. sixty million dollars. And so he says, he says, like, you know, to buy one of these, like base price, sixty million. And then he's like, and then, you know, they all come, they don't come with this wood. You got to put all this in. For example, this wall right here, what they're like the door that they just closed, this alone was eight million dollars or something like that. <laughs> or, and he's just flexing. It's like an insane video. It's crazy. Yeah, but I guess this dude just contradicts himself like constantly. Mm -hmm. Like that was Coffeezilla's video. It was basically about like finding clips from other shit where he's talking about like what's not worth investing in it's basically like all this shit yeah well you know all these all these money entrepreneur guys tell you what's not worth investing in until they have the money for it <laughs> yeah 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 and they're like well i'm big enough yeah. so it makes sense for me now yeah <sighs> yeah i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this taking delivery of my used professional go-kart so yeah see the sprocket right here 20 bucks i had to put that in after market they don't yeah. come with that yeah they don't come with that i mean my you know not to all my parts are otk yeah <laughs> original tony cart so you know i should have done that with my winnebago i had this yeah. weekend yeah yeah taking was, delivery of my rented winnebago of my rented winnebago yeah <laughs> versus like <laughs> hey we're out here from a, we're here from outdoorsy are you cody <laughs> it's a delivery guy we'll send them straight from Dude, Outdoorsy. <laughs> speaking of like absurd ideas, I just got to put this one out there because I feel like this one is on the edge. Alina was like, don't do this. But <laughs> so I had my assistant Alex find this taxidermy company and they they do rentals. So they rent out taxidermied animals. What? It's like for cinema, like it's for props. So, oh, OK. So it's like some <laughs> like what? but but some of the animals are real. So I was just like, dude, on some like Nathan for you shit. What if I rented like 10 really exotic, obscure animals and I like put out flyers for like a, a petting zoo and I just <laughs> labeled it as like real pets <laughs> and you get there and they're all taxidermy, just frozen pets, like fucking caribou, beavers, <laughs> alligators. That's a really good idea. <sighs> you think I should do it? Yes. I think that's a really funny prank. I was afraid honestly. if I do that, like I'm going to do like... I'm gonna be like, a, it's like some Logan Paul situation where it's like, bro, dead things? What are you doing? I mean, not really. Like, it's pretty common to have animal heads above a 
mantle, right? I mean, I think taxidermy is weird as fuck, but I yeah. think that's a really funny prank. All right. All I right. think so. I don't know. I'm not really a prank channel, so it just felt like out of the... <laughs> Out of the norm. I know, but that shit I did on the boardwalk when I, I mean, went yeah, out, yeah. like on TikTok, that pop, that popped off I know, so that's, hard. That's where I think, like the whole thing, it would just be a, <laughs> it'd be a grower, man. I have another idea for one of those, where I do like nervous prankster. Oh yeah. Or walk up and go, hey, do you guys have? Do you guys know this? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I want to just walk away. <laughs> do you? Hey. Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> do you guys hey. know where you can find the? Just saying, hey, over and over. <sighs> oh, never mind. Are you good, dude? Oh, fuck. Never mind. You all right? <laughs> hey. You have an anxiety attack? Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Don't leave. <laughs> oh, I was doing this prank video, but now I'm yeah. really scared. I'm really scared. Water, grass, skate park, tree. Water, Water grass, grass, skate, skate park. park, tree. Water, grass, skate park, tree. Are you grounding tree. right now? Water. <laughs> oh, my God. My chest is tight. I'm going numb. <laughs> What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be having panic attacks in public. <laughs> no, I think you should do that text everyone that's really funny all right, that's fair. really funny and then you should like be the owner of all like the proud owner that's what of i was gonna these, say yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like and this is betsy i didn't know if it would be this me. is betsy i just she's, lean down to like she, a, it's okay she loves when you pet her it's all right listen you, if you listen close you can hear her purr <laughs> kneel down to a 10 year old and be like i killed this one myself <laughs> yeah <laughs> don't tell anyone that no, no no he has to think that they're alive like and has oh you think like oh like, like he's crazy like he's insane yeah, yes yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, no. She don't. She don't bite. She don't bite. No, come here. Come Get a little here. rub on the tooth. Bite. No, she's super nice. She's a little rub super on the tooth. Nice. Yeah. Gentle, gentle. You don't oh, want to aggravate that. her. Listen, listen, put your ear right up to her. You can hear her purr. It's like it's a buffalo. What? <laughs> you can hear that heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. Beating strong. That's my girl. <laughs> That's my girl. I love you, Betsy. Most people can't believe I got a caribou <laughs> in the in the California. <laughs> but uh, you know, you got the right kind of money. <laughs> you ever taken a Grant Cardone course? <laughs> Oh, you should see! Oh my God, her and the alligator—they get, they get. Oh they my go. God, they go oh, I gotta at each keep other. Them <laughs> they gotta keep them from each other because they'll just nip, 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 nip. <laughs> More sworn enemies, I swear. <laughs> hey, hey, hang hey, off the beaver! It's hey. <laughs> a little beaver yeah, on a leash. Yeah, <laughs> it's not moving. Yeah. He's just, just dragging yeah, it around just, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta keep this one on a leash, or else she'll <laughs> run away. I mean, <laughs> ugh. Uh, maybe God we'll knows. just do this on my channel. <laughs> I think we have to do it. another one. I want it. Uh, I don't want to spoil the other one, but yeah, I was yeah okay. Maybe, so if you think that one's kosher, then maybe I'll do the other one. But yeah, I've been like you said earlier, man, artsy. I've been <laughs> I've been thinking of some weird shit lately. That's great. I don't know if it is. That's good. That's a good thing. I'll tell Alex some of my ideas, and like I'm afraid that I'm doing the Kanye, where I'm just like blithering shit, and he's like. I can't stop this guy. <laughs> it doesn't even matter who works here. He's <laughs> going to do you. this. <laughs> yeah, man, whatever. He's like, ah. Actually, dude, I quit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just, no. You know what, man? I'm out of here. I don't know if this is for me, dog, and then just logs off the Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I was going to say the TMG Studios thing, like that whole interaction that yeah. we just had. <laughs> we made this, like, little title card for TMG Studios so yeah. we could, like, brand you know the love island show with that yeah and uh i was like what should the sound be behind it, it should have like some sort of sound effect yeah cody like it could be like a producer tag like you know tmg did this video <laughs> i know i was like no i think it should be like distant laughing from our podcast i was like fuck that's awesome <laughs> that's so much better thanks dude <laughs> <laughs> how you know how do you do that uh do you TMG want to promo it? No, it's fine. No, no, no. no. Just still, look. Oh, yeah. we haven't even talked about the Love Island show yet. We got to. Yeah, we started. You know, a little, a little Love Island, a little limited run. We're always talking about it, but we're just gonna take it out of this and we'll just make it its own thing. So what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We always talk about Love Island, anyways. Whenever the show. No, no, we don't have to put play this. It's fine. I think they all saw it. Honestly, if you didn't see the promo video on Twitter or YouTube, go watch that. But also, the first episode is up right now. Yeah, on our YouTube channel and also just on. Uh, Patreon ad free and uh, on our normal podcast feed on Spotify or whatever. We're just going to label it like TMG bonus or whatever. Yeah. Love Island bonus. But I'll, uh, dude, we're going to be watching the show. We're going to be playing the game. Yeah. So follow along with us. If you like the show, it's going to be a fun. We shot the first episode. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it was a great time. So much fun. And we're, so. we were yoked as fuck. And we, we got jacked. Put the, we for put the trend on for it. Wait, scroll yeah. to the top. 
We got this mean comment, dude. Look at this. You fell off plus L plus ratio plus YB did Love Island better plus make better content or unsubscribe. It's just like, damn, dude. That's you, man. Oh. Don't like it, dude. <laughs> Don't like the Luke. <laughs> dude, I I tweeted that shit. Not to whatever. Not to Yeah. Go listen to the new uh Love Island episode. Um and watch it for the next eight weeks. It's gonna be fun. So I, I like I tweeted something similar. The replies genuinely had me crying. Like I didn't realize how many different things people say that are intentionally ass. I would hate to be a pure music artist in this era. Why? People are just they fuck with you so bad. It's like new album, and it's like delete it. Don't care. Cares. <laughs> wow, this is bad. <laughs> you fell off. Plus YB did your album better. It's just like you know. Yeah. Make better music. Make better music before you fall off again. <laughs> like you get, you don't get. Yeah, that's rough. That's like, super rough. Imagine posting your album release and the first top reply is L. <laughs> <laughs> you work on it for two years. Yeah, yeah. Two, in the studio every single night. Yeah. Thinking about it, you know, sitting there at night being like, maybe yeah, this song should go first before this song. Maybe I should cut this one. But doesn't I really matter. Like it's it. fucking mid, but bro. <laughs> YB's L. better. L. 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 Shit's mid, honestly. Shit's mid. L. <laughs> ah. <laughs> miss. Like, Damn, you, you missed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, people hit us with that. I was like, oh, yeah. dang. First miss, damn. For a joke song? Damn. You missed. <laughs> it's serious out here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. The amount of bullying on TikTok, I know I said this every single time, but it's, it is wild. Yeah, it's mean wild yeah I, people like i've heard people online be like yeah i think like adults be like i think tiktok is like a safer place <laughs> <laughs> we've reverted back 20 years yeah in some ways i like really appreciate it yeah you know like i i think like if a kid were to um like take himself out because of bullying oh yeah i know that's dark but it's dark what the fuck yeah, whatever. I'm not okay. I take back my. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think the savagery is so high that a lot of the users would have to really resist, like dancing on their gray. Oh, like, it's just like, it's just mean out there. Jesus, it really is. Did I just kid cut it? L L. <laughs> News article. First reply L L. That's dark. Yeah, man. That's really dark. <laughs> Jeez. So fucked. Don't laugh at that, dude. I'm not laughing. It's not funny. It's not funny. Don't laugh. Stop. Don't laugh. Stop laughing. Stop. At that. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? L death. No. <laughs> no. You know to be like no, no, no. You know to be. You know what to be. All right. This is you laugh, you lose right here. Ready? Damn. I guess it's F instead of L now. Can we get an F? Death kind of mid, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hell, dude. You're going to no, hell. Oh, dude, that's brutal. <laughs> Method kind of mid, honestly. Damn. Damn. Oh. Make better TikToks or I'll unsubscribe. Oh, wait. Oh, stop. Oh stop, dude. I'm not laughing. <laughs> that's fucked up. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. But, well, yo, now that I've uh, John, oh, wait, John, no, John, wait. Wait, John McAfee died. Uh, speaking of death, yeah, John, John McAfee, yeah, R.I.P. No big rip though to the man, John McAfee. Yeah. What do we think of that? I mean, he he said, "If I said, die, if I die, I'm fine in here. I got good food. I'm chilling. He's in jail. He's like, and he also said this." Enough of the whale fucking is non-consensual bullshit. A humpback whale weighs 70,000 pounds, is 50 feet long, can dive more than a quarter mile, and can crush ships with a single swipe of its tail. If a human manages to fuck one, you damn well better believe it's consensual. I mean... Yeah, man. I mean, can you argue with that, though? Yeah, put that on his tombstone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. He ran for prez. What? You don't remember that? I remember, I remember seeing that dude... On CNN or like, you know, like just before Fast Money, he's like in a plaid T-shirt being like, yeah, well, my platform is bit, 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 bit. He was a presidential Crazy. Candidate. 
Yeah, the it, whole thing is pretty wild. Did well, he get suicided? Uh, yeah, because he was going to get extradited. Yep. Uh, from Spain to America. So who killed? But like, why? What? Who killed him then? What would be the point of suiciding him? People believe that he did it, but said he didn't. It's like a final fuck you. Yeah, I see. Yeah. The guy's insane, really. Yeah. But. It's kind of like, it's, it's, I don't know. It, it is weird. Like, that dude's gone now. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. No more and I mean, he was like, um, just one of the most prolific weirdos ever. <laughs> prolific weirdo. That's a modern he, diss. He was. You prolific weirdo. <laughs> I mean, he just tweeted shit like that all the time. Yeah. He said he'd eat his own dick if yeah. crypto, if oh, Bitcoin hit uh, a million bucks or a hundred thousand bucks or yeah. what? If it hit 100K, he eat his own... He's, he, he'd eat his own dick. <laughs> That's like, it's awful. That's the first thing I thought of. It's, it's Guess we'll never get to see him. I know. And here's the thing. He probably would have actually done it. Yeah. That's that's what we missed out on. He could have did it on OF and then like made enough to buy a brand new dick. So it would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Oh, uh, my God. And this fucking Tour de France lady... Did you watch that? I was gonna. Or are you gonna say what? Sorry. No, I was. Oh, it got taken down. I didn't see the Tour de France lady. You didn't see this video? No. Oh, it's so good. Please find it. Please find he it. He will get it. Someone. Tour de France. I might get. Tour I might get really France. upset here. What? Someone interfering with a race? Yeah, I know. As a now race car boy. Yeah. Don't you dare interfere with a race, exactly. dude. Exactly. Exactly. Wait. Politically or like a political race? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. I, I'm no. I mean, like, don't interfere with the race of people, and yeah. definitely don't interfere with people racing. Yes. Exactly. Absolutely not. Yep. All right. Here we go. Wait. Wait. You got to play the beginning. Does it show it? All right. So here they are. Oh, they don't show the slow mo because they're trying to probably protect our identity. Oh, you think that's why? Hell yeah, dude. Okay, oh. yeah, go back. Oh. Go back. Look at her. Oh, dummy. Dummy. Look at this guy just get run over. Oh. Dummy alert. Oh, okay. Is she on the run? No way. Really? She's trying to leave the country? Oh, They're my gonna God. They're going to make an example out of her and sue her. And they're trying to find her right now. As as to basically be like, do not ever interfere with yes, this race exactly. ever again. It took <laughs> multiple racers out of the race. And they were like the leading team too, right? I'm not sure. I mean, they're wearing the yellow jersey, isn't that? <laughs> Dog. Can you imagine? Yeah, they're wearing the, yeah. Can you imagine a fan in Formula One just like leans over the barricade <laughs> and like a sign just, <laughs> just hits their helmet <laughs> at 200? <laughs> And the crap. No, I was thinking about this fan leaning over and then just getting evaporated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just disappear. <laughs> Max Verstappen absolutely crushing it into turn three. Someone's mom just explodes. Annihilating that grandma. Oh, they, you can't get on track when you do that. It's just not smart. <laughs> Look at this again. So, cloud of <laughs> dust. Yeah. Formula One, knowing them, they'd be like, re re yeah, run it boys, back, run it yeah, back. Yeah, just blood. Re Replay it again. Replay it again. Let's see it again. Let's see it again. Run it like 400 more times. And here she is just leaning over and there she goes. Annihilated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, he really shut the door on her, didn't he? Wow. There she is. And there, and she's, there not. she's not. <laughs> and there she... Oh, we'll, we'll take off this just quick second. Congratulations to Lewis Hamilton for Home Depot's <laughs> fastest lap of the day. That's an extra point for him. Now back to the replay. There she is again. Absolutely annihilated. Yeah, you can just see the way her bone structure just rips apart. I think it would be more like nonchalant because, you know, British people, it's just darkness is in them. So they'd be like, there she is there and she's gone. I mean, wow. <laughs> Formula One, like they love and 
She's gone. <laughs> they love breaking down like when cars crash. They love just replaying it and the announcers go, yeah, you can see there the tie rod really gets in the way. And just the way it jitters over the curb. So I feel like they just break it down. Yeah. They're like, yeah, the speed of the car, it's just human body can't handle yeah. it. And, uh, you can see actually one of her teeth right there in yeah. the dust. <laughs> in yeah, the cloud right. of blood. They'll need to refer to that to find out her identity yes, because there's indeed. nothing left. Mm, they'll have to, yeah. There's nothing left. I do believe a steward nothing has found left. a molar, so that's good. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, um, thanks for listening, folks. Tune in to our Love Island podcast Yeah, right here on the same channel or the same feed that you're listening to this right now. And uh, if you are a Patreoner, strap in because we got a whole lot on the bone zone. Uh, what New do we got? Main, no, I'll tell them. New main fights Flue Base. Yep. Excuse me, Blue Face, sorry. New main fights Blue Face. No, New Face fights Blue Main. New Face fights Blue Main. We got Squeaky and Roy. A couple got- crazy workouts and uh, the death of late night and a bee dick video. <laughs> And Fast and the Furious musical. (laughs) Coming up next on The Bone Zone. On The Bone Zone.